The Berg Ocas Youth Skills Training Center is situated about 18 kilometers east of Rootfontein in the Ochozenjupa region. The former mining site was revamped and transformed into a training center for young Namibians who did not make it through academic schooling stream. The youth are trained in trades such as animal husbandry, tailoring, carpentry, and hot culture, among others. Yes, the yes. ministry Someone brought on board volunteers, which yes, are yes. hired yes. yes. on a year no, no. on Yes, yes, yes. The yes. No. However, the volunteers no. are not no. happy no. with their contract no. worker status no. and their monthly yes. stipend yes. and while yes. permanent yes. employment. No. The spokesperson no. of the government has to say being said. They were hired in 2009 to work at various sections. We prepare meals for the children of liberation struggle kids, those who were here until all of them got employed. We are volunteering and receiving allowance of $1,000 per month without benefit. It is too little to maintain ourselves. Food, school fee, and hospital, as also we have families to take care of. In 2011, we went for blood test at Crossfontein State Hospital and the acting head of the center promised us that when the area is not contaminated, then the program will start and will be employed. In the year 2012, the ministry came up with the youth skills training program. On 14 November 2012, again, the deputy director of youth uh, development, Mr. Patrick Kayungura, gave us application form for employment to fill in with the reason of employing us. But nothing had been done since then. We, we would really like to know why they have to do all this to us. We are also Namibians, therefore we deserve to be treated better than that. We all need to eat from the cake of the land of the brave, at least fairly. He says the fact that their contracts are renewed every year shows that their services are needed at the center and therefore they don't see the reason why the ministry does not convert their contracts to full employment. But till the present moment, no adequate answer was given back to us, and we continue several sufferings in this miserable situation. Last but not least, we were again promised that they will increase our allowance since early February in 2014. Up to now, we are getting the same amount, and we wonder why our leaders have to let us suffer like slaves or refugees in our own motherland. While we are full citizens, we are pleading, when are we going to, to test the same bread as other Namibians are testing? Permanent staffs are very few, and most of the most of the work is done by volunteers working overtime overtimes without payments. Many other Namibians and foreigners are holding more than three posts in different ministries while we are being punished here. When are we going to have the same living standard with all the benefits, just like other Namibians? Councillor yes, Angulu yes. agreed with the disadvantaged no. volunteers no. to resume duties no. while their petition no. will be forwarded to the Railway Authority. Down! 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 Down!